What is going on guys, DBG here, and we're going to be doing a gameplay in this video. Obviously we've used all these cards before. I'm going to try out Mal Malcolm Brockton a couple of, for maybe a couple of minutes here and there. We're going to use pretty much, well our main team is, where is it? This is our main team, so we're using pretty much the same team, except we're going to be using the new Tim Hardaway Jr. We're going to try to get a lot of points up with this guy. We've got Kevin Johnson as well, a brand new player who I actually picked up on the auction house for 27k on the refresh, so really, really cheap. I did sell my James Harden for, I think it was 32k, my Amethyst Harden, so I actually got this guy basically for Amethyst Harden, and I much prefer Kevin Johnson. So before the game starts, I'm gonna go over Tim Hardaway's stats anyway. So he's really good offensive overall, he's got five go badges, corner specialists, well, some of the best shooting badges, and he's got limitless range, which is good to have, which is good to have. He's six foot six, but look at these stats. He's got 92 driving layup, open shot mid of 90, open shot three of 94, 90 free throw. He's got 88 passing IQ, so we can actually play at the point a little bit because he has 87 ball control as well. He's not a good defender. 72 on ball defense, 59 steal, not great. 85 driving dunk with some good speed. So I'm going to go over this guy's hot zones before the game as well. Tim Hardaway Jr. is hot zone basically everywhere, and his release is one of the nicest in the game. Like, I'm recording this after the gameplay, but I had never actually used him at all before the game. This guy's release is absolutely money. Like one of the easiest releases to green in the game. And that is 100% true, true. From deep range, he actually shoots quite well. And he's just like, he's basically probably gonna end up replacing Steven Jackson. Steven Jackson was in my squad just because I really liked his release. He didn't do too much else well, but I prefer Tim Hardaway's release. So he's probably gonna replace Steven Jackson, my main squad. And it's probably going to be the two guard off the bench or even my starting two guard on my main team just because how good he shoots the ball. Nice zero step, but a missed layup. And he goes and gets his own board. Finds the busher on the wing. The busher fades. The busher misses. Tim Hardaway Jr. has to be open off this. I get it into... Let's run a floppy play for him. I don't know if I'm going to play in anyway, but he has just gotten open the corner. Puts it up and hits the three-point shot. On, in the Rosen's face, and he hits the mid-range jump shot. Good steal. I'm guessing this guy is going to rage quit. Especially if I hit this. Pull up, and hit the three-point shot with Tim Hardaway Jr. 10-2 lead. Good steal. Oh, that's deep. That's deep, but it does not matter. Tim Hardaway Jr. with a green release. This guy is a beast. Okay, let's run that, run that to Pierce. Into Miles Turner. Someone has to be open, it's Pierce. And Pierce goes and misses the dunk. Easy, easy for Wes Unsell. Like if things aren't going right, just post up. You will, it will succeed. Charge, great defense, Paul George. I am so bad at scoring with one player, it's unbelievable. Like I will lose this game if I just try to score with Tim Hardaway Jr. I will actually lose this game. So we need to start getting a couple of shots here with Kevin Johnson. Robin in the corner. There we go. Should have went in, but like, I'm not comfortable at all in this game. And I should be. Good defense and one. Oh my God. It's a two point game now. This is a two point game. Oh, the buzzer. That's terrible. Oh, it has to be a steal. I had our ball. There we go. Alright, let's push, try push this out to 10 at half time. We got our bench in, which includes the great sleepy Floyd. Go right to the basket. There we go. Good steal. Pierce. Push it. Why his own cells there on the left? Into Turner. Into Turner. Well, it's Turner with the dunk. There we go. Right back to six. We leave Kyrie wide open. Who misses? You missed a Kyrie. He's going to expect me to pull up. Easy layup for Paul George. That's too easy. Oh, that's good from Rubio, is it? Nope, he gets a board. Something's happening. I don't know what exactly is happening, but something. Okay. Cross him up. Oh, nice and easy. Nice and easy for Sleepy Floyd. That's too easy. 10 point game. We pulled it out to 10 by the half because this bench five is just godly. Let's get into Sleepy Floyd's hands. What way does he want to defend me? Whatever way that is, isn't going to work. Because I can find Pierce in the corner. 
Great prediction. Great prediction by him that I was going to pass. It's all good. We've got Paul George in guard one through four. They get a shot in the corner. They miss. Full court shot on Moss Turner. And it doesn't go in. So we've got a 10 point lead at halftime. Okay, this is right back to a five point game. We haven't even had an offense yet. Some bad, bad just play in general. Oh, easy money. Easy money, Tim Hardaway. That's got to go in. I'm shooting bad shots with him now. Okay, that's not supposed to be supposed to be a shot fake. That's wide open, though. That is wide open. That's got to go in. There we go. And he goes and does that. Like, my percentages of Hardaway are going to be really bad, but I'm taking stupid shots with him. Like, I'm not going to give the card a bad review because I'm shooting stupid shots with him. Fake him up. Pull up, green release. His release is so nice. It's so easy to green. Like when he's open, he's just unstoppable like. Okay, nice and easy post hook or fade with the busher. Either or, either or, when things slow down, you can just give it to the busher. I'm actually gonna make a couple of subs. Like I'm gonna comfortably win this game. So I'll put McGee in. Hardaway Jr., I'll give you a rest. Uh, Brogdon go in for Pierce and Sleepy come at four or run a two-headed monster. Yeah, run a two-headed monster with Sleepy Floyd, Daniel Gibson at the one-two. Let's see how that goes. Okay, I got five seconds to shoot. There we go, Sleepy Floyd right by him and gets the dunk. Oh, that's a nice pass. What a pass from Rubio. Bit unlucky with the finish. Good rebound, Sleepy Floyd. Go by on baseline, pull up mid, pull up from mid, pull up from mid, hit that shot, Sleepy Floyd. He is my favorite point guard in the game. I like Kevin Johnson, really like the Kevin Johnson card, but Sleepy Floyd is just that much better. Okay, how do they, how do they plan to stop me? They plan to stop me by leaving Paul George shoot the ball in the corner. That's not going to work. That is not going to work. Cats hit that. If not, we're leaking. If not, we're leaking. If not, we're leaking. Where's Unsell's leaking out? Where's on sets? Cherry picking. He's doing a Leangelo Lamelo. I can't think. <laughs> He's doing a Lamelo ball on it. He thinks he can post up Dave the Busher with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Does he not realize Dave the Busher is one of the best defenders in the game? Oh, great defense! That is unbelievable defense. That is unbelievable defense from this fight. That's why I love using this five with Paul George the two as my starters. That is a sick, sick five. Okay, that's e that's money. There we go, Tim Hardaway, 25. Okay, that's not a contest. That's definitely not contested. Tim Hardaway Jr. hits another three. Great steal. Get Kevin Johnson a basket. Get Kevin Johnson a basket. He deserves it. He deserves it. 28 points, goes to the basket, and he hits 30. There we go. Good steal, Dave the Busher. Can he hit the half-court shot, though? Can he hit it? Yes, he can! He hits a half-court shot to end, basically, one of the best games I've played out of a Ruby card this year. <laughs> that was some shot to end it. So in the end, we actually won the game by 34 points, by more than double score. Our offense wasn't great because we were basically jacking stupid shots most of the game, but our defense, I don't think you can get a much better defensive lineup than I've put together. We went, we only shot 45%, but look at that. Out of, look at the points off turnovers. Out of his 17 turnovers, we scored 31 points, and of my 12, he only scored six. We held him to 25% shooting in the second half, which is really, Really good. Let's look at the box score. Tim Hardaway Jr. with 33 points. He did shoot 12 of 26 and only nine of, and shot a little bit over 50% from three, but I was shooting stupid shots with him. But like these stats, 94 of shot three with an unbelievable release. Like he was, he's as good, if not better than any Ruby I use. Defensively, realistically, it was probably because I had Kevin Johnson, DeBusher, Rodman, Gasol around him but he seemed to do really well on defense, even though his ratings wouldn't suggest it. Let's look at his defensive ratings again. Yeah, his defensive rating is on-ball defensive IQ of 72, which is not great. 
But to be honest, he played well. Maybe you have to have a good defense team around him. But he's probably one of my favorite Ruby cards that I've used so far. Definitely at the same level as Malcolm Brogdon. Maybe a little, a little bit better. And probably a little bit above the likes of Norman Powell. Especially offensively. Obviously Sleepy Floyd did well. PG literally took three shots and at seven points. The rest of our team were relatively inefficient. We shot a very poor percentage. But we're running everything through a ruby. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.